In this session, we will learn about the ABAP query. So basically, in this session, we will learn about the basic of the SAP query. The content of this session is basically, first, the objective at the end of the session, you will be able to create a simple SAP query. And we will look at why do we need SAP query and what is the prerequisite and what is the transaction code to do that. Now we'll go to the first thing. Why do we need SAP query? SAP query has a flexibility over SE16N for example for the one that already knows a little bit about or more about SAP we will are able to do a query or display of table content from SE16N. So if I go to here and then I go click the new session here and type it SE16N, then we will be able to display a table content. For example, we would like to display the customer master the table is KNA1 then basically you can select what is the customer this is the selection screen where you can predefine what is your selection and after that you can execute that it will display you the list and the advantage of the SAP query is basically you are able to join the table together it's basically you join the general data of the customer master with the sales view data so you can get a one list from two different table that is basically one of the advantage the other advantage is basically it gives you the flexibility as you can create the report yourself so you don't really need an ABAPER to create it for you as long as you know the table so it's basically very useful when you do a data migration, for example, to basically verify that all your data is correct. And then you can enhance your SAP query later on as well using a more complex ABAP logic as well, custom code over there. Now we will go to the next session, which is basically the prerequisite like SE16N ABAP query basically you, the prerequisite you will need to know the SAP table here I list a basic SAP table like sales table is basically VBAK VBAP, VBEP and the delivery is LIGP so you should know what is the table before you are able to create or create an SQ01 or ABAP or SAP query because you will basically go query to the table straight away so that's the big prerequisite is you should know what is the table that you would like to get the report from then we go to the detail of it basically we will look at the step step one is you create the user group using the transaction code sq03 and then you need to create the info set using sq02 info set is basically a structure of the table well, which field that you would like to select and what is the relationship between one table to another table kind of and then you assign the info set to the user group which is using the same transaction code SQ02 and then you will create the query which is using the SQ01 transaction then I will show you here in this screen what is the SQ03 looks like so this is the SQ03 looks like so basically this is a user group 
so before you go to the user group you have to make sure that you are on the right uh, query area so here in the environment you click the query area you can see here there are two query area which is basically the one is standard area and another one is global area the difference is the standard area you are able to create it on the particular client straight away and it is a client specific for global normally it's transportable where you basically need to create your query in the development client and then you could test it in the testing client before you move it to the uh, production client so for this case you will go as the standard area we click choose here and then we put the what is your group name let's say set test one and then you can press the create button and you put the description here test user group one so that is basically the first step done you create the user group and the transaction code is basically sq03 you create this user group by clicking this create button the next step is basically sq02 sq02 is the info set so here you put the info set name that you would like to put for example set customer one and then click create button so it's similar with user group where basically you put the name and click create button and you put the name here let's see this one is the customer query and you put the table so like i said before the table is important so you should know what is the table name that you like to get the report from let's say that you would like to respread the report from SAP getting from the general data and then from the sales view then you basically you go to the KNA1 table KNA1 is basically a general data view for the customer and if you click make sure that basically you this no automatic tag recognition is antique because this will be very useful because you don't really need to join a multiple table just to get the tags that I will show later on so you click continue here there and then this is basically the first table so this is similar with uh, ms access for the one that is already familiar with microsoft access or other uh, uh, sql query or something like that and you put the table the second table here so the first table is the general data in customer master the second table we put is for uh, example kskn fifi which is basically the sales view so the general data will contain what is the name what is the address and all those things while the can fifi will store the sales view data of it like what is the sales district what is the income term and all those things and you clean, click the green arrow back here here you have several options normally i choose the empty field group because using the empty field group then i am able to choose which field that i need because if you put the key field that basically it will get the key field only and if are all table then basically you need to move the field that you don't want so i prefer to create the empty field group and here if you click empty field group in this field group it's basically empty so you choose the one that you need for example for the general data you need the customer and you need the country you need the name you need the city so that's basically the data that you would like to get from the customer general data and for the 
tell us data. Let's say that you would like to see the SAS organization distribution channel and division, which is basically the key here. And then you will, uh, for example, you would like to see what's the customer group, sales district, uh, and in code term as well. So it's basically you uh, drop, drag and drop. So you click here and you drop it there. So click one, you drop it there, it goes there. So drop drag and drop and you can select multiple using the shift key like you click this one and you click shift so you click multiple directly and drag and drop as well so this is basically the second step so you create the info set where basically you create the structure what is the table what's the relationship and what is the field that you would like to get and after that you will need to generate it so I just generated so the second step is done first step you need to create a user group second step basically you need to create the info set the third step basically you assign this info set to the user group so you click this the row assignment I click it again click this button row or user group assignment and then from there you need to click the user group set test one and save so if I recap again the first one is SQ03 you create a user you create a user group SQ02 you could display or create info set and then you assign the info set to user group which is basically another sq02 so this step 2 and step 3 is basically on the same transaction code and after that then you go to sq01 which is basically you create the query and here you will need to select the user group so we select the user group that we created before set test one and here we create the query put the name again so for example set customer query and you can click create button so it's similar that's basically you put the name click create button here and it will display the info set that is assigned to that user group so again there are three part for SAP query is basically user group info set and query itself so in the query will be assigned to a user group and then the info set also assigned to a user group and here you will only be able to select the info set that assigned to that user group so we select this one for example put the title customer query and you click next button here go to the next screen you select which field group that you would like to select in this case you select both of them and then here you select which field that you would like to display let's see that you would like to display most of them the advantage that if you make sure that in the when you create the query uh, you make sure that you untick that's basically the text so it's it will be able to select the text for you because normally SAP store text and code in different table so instead of need to join multiple table together SAP able to give the text straight away for you and you click the next here then this is basically the selection screen the selection screen let's say that you would like to see this customer and you would like to see uh, again maybe we need to go back here again so uh, this uh, distribution channel and division here yep okay so we click customer just organization distribution channel and division 
and then we need to put the sequence here I'll normally put the sequence is not really in sequence like like say customer is number one such organization number 10 distribution channel number 20 division is number 30 the reason why is basically so I can put uh, if I forget something I put something in the middle between those number so I don't need to change other sequence that is basically the main reason you click enter here and then you click basic list in the basic list basically you will be able to see three field group which is basically what's in general what's customer the one that's basically the one general in the sales view sales data here and the last one is basically the additional field additional field is basically SAP select it's automatically for the key let's say we select the country key here and we would like to see the country name as well so we put the country name here which is basically the text of the country and let's say that we select that this source organization distribution and division and we would like to see the text of them as well we can display this one as the text there and then we let's say we would like to see what the sales district and in quote them there and we save it so that is basically those step that we cover already so you create a user group create info set assign info set to user group and then you create the query so that is the query is done then you can test them basically you execute and you put the sales organization let's see 3020 and execute this one so that is your query is done and you have the key as well for this case somehow the key is blank for the country but you can see that basically you have the sales organization is 3020 and you have the text here as USA then first straight away coming in so that is basically the advantage of having automatic text recognition so you can get the text straight away without the need to join multiple table together and if we go back to here again so you should now be able to create the query basically and the next time I will create the presentation we will cover a more detail of a query which basically we will look at how to create a new field like a calculated field is not from the table like a minus b or something like that and we need to look at the layout detail how to change the statistic layout and how to do the maintenance and in here i put the sqvi as well so we will cover sqvi and then how to convert the sqvi to the standard query so the advantage of the sqvi here is the quick view quick view is only for on use but you can you don't really need to do this three step and you can do it straight away which we will cover in the next session and we will cover the tips and tricks as well and you if you have any question you can email to the sub sdtutorial at gmail.com and thank you for your attention and please give the feedback thank you again bye